Hello and welcome to Mini Orange. In this video, we are going to show you how to set up single sign on into WordPress using AWS Cognito as OAuth provider. Go to your WordPress dashboard and then plugin section. Here, you will need to install the Mini Orange OAuth single sign on plugin. You can find the installation steps in the setup guide linked at the video description. Now, go to the plugin and you will see an add new application button. Click on it. Select the AWS Cognito application from the list, and click on it. Here, you will see the callback URL. Keep the callback URL handy, as we will require it later to configure Cognito app. Click on Next. Now, you will need your Cognito domain name for configure the endpoints, so let's go the AWS Cognito console. Log in to your AWS console using your credentials. Now, Search for Cognito in the AWS Services search bar and click on it. Click on Create User Pool. Choose the email attribute as a sign in option, so the user can sign in using this attribute. Click Next. In this section, you can define the length and complexity of your password using the password policy. You can either set the policy as default or change it using the custom option. Scroll down to Multi-Factor Authentication option. Enable that No MFA option if you want users to only sign in with a single authentication factor. Here, you can change the use account recovery message. Click Next. Scroll down to the required attributes option and select the attributes that you want to show when a new user is created. You can add your own attributes by using Custom Attribute option. Click Next. Configure how your user pool sends email messages to users. Click Next. Enter a name for your user pool. Also under Hosted Authentication Pages, check Use the Cognito Hosted UI. Now, under the Domain section choose the domain type as Use a Cognito Domain. Enter a domain name for your Cognito app. Select App Type as Public Client. Enter a name for your app under App Client option. Enable the Generate a Client Secret option to generate the client secret. Now, here you need to enter the redirect callback URL for that. Go to MiniOrange OAuth SSO plugin, copy the callback URL and paste it here. Under the Advanced App Client Settings tab, select Authentication Flow as Allow User SRP Auth. Scroll down and select Scopes as Email, Phone, Profile and Open ID. Click Next. Now, review your selection of requirements and click Create User Pool to confirm the selection and create a user pool. Your user pool has been created successfully. Now search your user pool from the list and click on it. Go to the Users tab and click Create User. Fill the require user details and click on Create User button. The user has been successfully created. Now, go to App Integration section and copy the complete domain name. This should be entered into the Endpoints field under in the Mini Orange OAuth single sign on plugin. Scroll down to App Clients and Analytics section and click on your app client name. Here, you will get the client ID and client secret. Keep them handy as we will require it to configure Mini Orange OAuth SSO plugin. Now, go to Mini Orange single sign on plugin and replace the Cognito domain with the endpoints. Click on Next button. Paste the client ID and client secret copied from AWS Cognito app. Scope Open ID is already filled here. Click on Next button. Here, you will get the summary of your app details. Verify it and click on Finish button. Here, log in with your AWS Cognito credentials. Fill the required details here and click on Send button. After successful test configuration, you will see the user attributes table. Now, click on finish button for attribute mapping. Go to attribute or role mapping section. Select the unique user attribute from Cognito to create SSO users in WordPress and click on save.
Go to WordPress login page, and you will see an AWS Cognito SSO login button, click on it. Log in with your AWS Cognito credentials. You have successfully logged in to the WordPress site, using AWS Cognito credentials. If you are looking for additional functionalities, like user profile mapping, role mapping, then you can reach out to us on info at securify.com.